I have a line given to me. For this line, if I ask you to find the gradient, you would do just two things. You would find the vertical move and the horizontal move. Here you are vertically rising by two units and then you went right by four units, which is just one by two. Yeah, that is the gradient now. Now let's think about a perpendicular line to this. To draw a perpendicular line, I'll be a little clever. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the vertical and the horizontal distance. So this line was moving across two boxes vertical. I'm gonna make that two boxes horizontal. And now because it was moving four units horizontal, I'm gonna make that four units vertical. So if you see, check it out, you get exactly 90 degrees right so now if i have to find the gradient of this line then you clearly see that gradient is always a measure of rise and run because i flip the values it will be four and two but also remember because the line is coming down or from coming from this point to this point i have come down by four units that is the reason i have to take minus four and i went right by two units if you look at the gradient you got the answer very similar to the previous line the only thing you got is the values are now flipped and they are just the opposite so the, remember this is the rule for perpendicular lines two lines are perpendicular or when two lines are perpendicular the gradient of the first line will always be negative reciprocal of the other one so it's very interesting to note that if one line is positive then its perpendicular line will always be negative and at the same time it will just move in the other way around that is it will just switch over the vertical and the horizontal move that is the reason why it makes sense that we have to flip the number flip the gradient and then make it negative negative.